everybody. So I want to introduce you to one of my very favorite, super geeky, um, like neat freak tools that I have in the studio. I found this like, I want to say two years ago. It was just one of those like random, I was looking for something else on Amazon and I found this thing and, and because of it, I have now gifted it to all of my students because they're working from home, they're studying from home during the pandemic, and I know that they're creating their own messes in their studio. So this is my favorite tidy up tool um, that honestly saves me a lot of aggravation. So let me take a look down here with you guys at the hand camera and I'm gonna show you how it works on a drawing um, and why I'm such a neat freak geek over this tool. <laughs> okay, so this new favorite tool of mine, I happened to pick one that was a mushroom because I didn't realize that there were other varieties. The only other one that I saw at the same time was a ladybug. Um, and I just picked this one because of blue. It's kind of lame, but it matches my chair in the studio. Um, so I don't have some sort of story with mushrooms versus ladybugs, but now I've seen that they are making these um, and you can get them all over Amazon and they come just totally plain in different colors. And so if I were to purchase again, that's what I would get. Um, it is actually a small vacuum. So what I'm gonna show you is when I'm working on a drawing like this, I'm going to tend to clean up the edges. And in the past, what I would always do would be to grab my dusting brush and get try to get those off the page. Um, sometimes I just wind up picking them up with my eraser. And then I would have to sweep those into the trash or most of my students when they're working in the studio, to be quite honest, they just brush them onto the floor and then I'm the one who winds up having to sweep them up or vacuum them up. So this little tool really saves me because I can just vacuum them up. Now, the lame thing about this is it is battery operated, so it does seem to eat up batteries, I would say about once or twice a year, I have to replace them depending on how frequently I'm using it. Um, so I do feel kind of badly about that. It's not exactly environmentally friendly, whereas just sweeping this into the trash doesn't cost any um, resources. It's also a little bit, I might have to get one that's new and not a mushroom just to replace because the cap I've noticed lately has been a little bit harder to try to get in line and get replaced. And then the way that it works, I'm going to move the drawing so that I don't cause any damage to it, is that um, when you want to clean it out, you will just open this up and this little reservoir here um, takes care of everything. You can see there's a little fan inside there. Um, and there might be ways that you can actually clean that container a little bit more. I do feel like as it's aged, this cap is not quite fitting back on properly. So like I said, it might be an excuse for me to get a different color or a different shape or one that isn't a mushroom. Um, but I try not to just buy, you know, plastic crap like this and then not use it or um, buy extras. It's kind of silly because we do have to think about our environment and we're all contributing to that. So, um, Again, you just turn on the little switch here. And let me show you what it looks like when you have a lot of eraser crumbs because the reality is there are going to be days that you have a ton of debris in the studio. So I don't know if you can see that big pile. The problem with the internet 
here let me see you can see all that junk okay that's what I'm going for gone 30 seconds of your time it took me longer to erase than it did to actually clean up those eraser shavings so there you have it my favorite neat freak tool that makes me very happy I hope it makes you happy too. Okay, so I hope this um, cleanup tidying tool really helps you. It will probably um, keep you from warring with your family if you're working on the dining room table or um, if you're in that horrible habit of brushing crumbs off the table onto the floor. Um, it will allow people to enjoy your creativity without having to enjoy your creative mess also. So I hope this helps you out. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments down below or um, forward this to a friend or like or subscribe. It really helps me out when you do that.